How are you? Hope you are fine. Um, and you are stay at home to save yourself. Uh, right now we start our new lesson. That is uh, the third lesson from the history tool before we already discuss about the um, history and about the chronology and about the primary and the secondary tools which required for the written write down story. Uh, here we have uh, the famous historian. Now today we are talk about the famous historians. So this is my lesson object to describe the way of the famous historians to write the history like uh, Herodotus, Herodotus and the Ibn Khaldun, the Muslim scientist. Uh, the famous historians they are to like their books and their written um, material is really famous that we can know about all the things because of them with that what happened in the past so the first example is uh, the first name who is very famous is the Herodotus he was a Greek historian who lived in 1st century BC and he is famous as a father of the history because he is the first man who made the history actually who wrote the history and he is also known as the master storyteller because he was very famous about the writing about writing the story and tells the story to the others so he used to to make the history in the way of the writing to in the way of the story telling um, then he is very he wrote actually is the his famous uh, things which is in the record is that he is uh, wrote about the Greek victory over the Persian and explained the origin of their conflict in his book the history of the Persian war so he tell us about the conflict Actually, what is the conflict which caused the war in the in his book? That is the history of the Persian War, and I and I think this is very uh, brave thing, and it's very um, what I said. There is a scientific thing that you can get know about the reason behind this war. That's really important. Let anyone how much. Just think about that how much he searched actually, how much. Now, uh, the second one is the Ibn al Khuldum. He is, uh, he was a Muslim scientist. He was born in the Tunis in 1332 AD. He was a famous Muslim historian, economist, philosopher, sociologist, and social scientist. Because he is also the scientist. That's why they said the social scientist means he is very famous in the Soviet public. He wrote his own autobiography. This is very uh, unique thing in, um, in the ancient days. That somebody he wrote his biography. And that's why he is famous among the English persons. His family migrated from Al Andalus to the Tunis, where he was born. He studied with the best teachers in Maghreb. So he is the person who always connected with the Maghreb and the East both. And he memorized the Quran, Sharia, Fiqh, and learned about the mathematics and the philosophy. And he gave us many equations, many things, and the many formulas there. He is the best known for his Muqaddama. Muqaddama means a book or you are say you, are, you said that this is the laws. So he made the laws about them and he put the one case over there. So he discussed about that Muqaddama which is very famous in the English peoples also. He was the first brought into the attention to the, of the European because of the discovery of his autobiography. So the Europeans, they attract because of his autobiography and they are very impressed with him. And he, they also 
with their pictures and their uh, name on their notes also because of their famous, the level of their famous. So the third one is Al Masoudi, Masoudi, Abdul Hassan Al Masoudi was the descendant of the Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Prophet's companion. He was very famous because he is a, such a nice Muslim person because he is the um, children of the Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, who is a Prophet's companion. That's a great thing and a great uh, uh, thinking of us that he was the companions, Prophet's companions person or the descender. He was a geographer, physicist and historian. Uh, you noted that all the uh, historians, they have, they are not only working with the history, they are also the scientists, they are also the geographer who make the maps who make the location, who indicate the location. Why? Because when they are um, in the search of the history, they are moving around. So they are making the maps for guiding their way. And with the different tools, they are using this thing that how to make their um, traveling easy for them. So in that way, they use different techniques so they become a physicist also they become a scientist also al masoudi describes his experience of the various countries people and climates in his book named Mur murajul dabab his famous book in the murajul dabab in which he uh, he is talking about the countries people and the climates the different countries and the different climates where different peoples are living. So he put his all the experience in his book, Marajul Tabab. He gave accounts of his personal contact with Jews, Iranians, Indians, and Christians. The areas where he moved, he, he have a close contact with the persons, not only the Muslims, they were the Indians, they were the Christians, they were the Iranians, they were the Jews. So, all the historians, they are very good in their public relation. So their PR is very good. They always be sitting with the people and they want to get to know about the history, get to know about the information from them. So this is the nice way that you are a good friend. You are a good human being as a historian. So this is all about the uh, three peoples of the famous historians. Now go to your activity book page number 76 and 77. Here I did uh, because I know there is little bit sometime you are confused uh, in the wording. So I just gave the answer also here. First I read the first question about the person. They asked for the place where he lived. Who is that person? They are about the Herodotus. So he was, I already told you, he was a Greek scientist in the 5th century BC, time when he uh, lived as 5th century and explain why he has, he is still well known today. Why? Because he is collected data from the, from many places, uh, and the people and also the climate where they live on events also. Why Herodotus is uh, considered influential? Because he, he wrote about the Greek victory over the Persians where he explained that what is the cause and what is the conflict behind this. Identify the two characteristics of the Herodotus. He was a master storyteller and he is the Greek historian. He is also uh, wrote a book that is the 
version that's already behind the version wall. So now go to another paper. We, they are talking about the Ibn Khaldun and they are talking about the place of the birth. I already told you that his family migrated from al Andalus to the Tunis, where they lived and where he born. And the date of birth is 1332 AD. Interesting facts about the childhood. He studied uh, best from the best Maghrib teachers and he memorized the Quran, Sharia, Faith and the, his lecture uh, and the flaws, the flaws were lectures from the mathematics also. So this is their achievement in the childhood because he is interested in the childhood, all these things. First, he read, memorized his Quran, Sharia and all these things. Fourth one is why Ibn Khaldun is still well known today because he knows uh, know for his uh, Mukhatma because the Mukhatma is the best known for his uh, uh, books and for his creations also. Why Ibn Khaldun is considered influential because he wrote his own biograph, autobiography. In the ancient day, no one knew about that biography, the autobiography, but he wrote in that time, in 13th century, in the 14th century, that's really a influence thing for the others. Thanks, my dear. You can write down the answers and tell you your answer. Read the book and if you have any doubt, you can ask to me. Thank you so much, my dear.